We'll guide you through how to play Dawncraft with friends and make a server. If you find this guide useful then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all go and quit off Dawncraft like so. And just before we get any further we are assuming you already have Dawncraft installed locally on your computer. If not we've got a full guide on that but you can go and use CurseForge and you can then go and get the mod pack. Now what you need to do is head to the link in the comments or the description and come to Apex Hosting. They're who we're going to be using for this guide. They've got so many awesome features, for example one click install mod pack so we can super easily install Dawncraft, 24 7 servers and support so your server is going to be online and also you can get help anytime you need it, ultra latency and so much more as well. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice which is super good. So if you're interested there will be a link down below in the comments and the description. Now all you want to do is go and click on get started like so. You can go and choose Minecraft and now you need to go and choose your plan. So as you can see there are quite a few different plans here. Now if you're playing with mod packs which we're going to be which is Dawncraft I would go for at least at least 8 or 10 gigabytes. If you're playing with a lot of players, I'd just go and get more because your server lagging is super annoying. You can then click on order now like so. Now what you can do here is you can go and choose the server version to be Dawncraft right now, but you don't have to, you can always go and change this later on and I'll show you how to do that. So you can choose Dawncraft as the server version, but it's not essential. And what you can then do is you can go and make your purchase. After you've purchased your server, you'll then be sent some details to your email, so go and find them. And what we can then do is go to the top right and go and click on panel. If you haven't clicked this before, you'll need to go and sign in. You can then click on go to my server like so and you'll be brought here. And now what we can do is go and scroll down. And if you didn't go and select Dawncraft when you were buying your server, you can go and do that now. So you can come to the game file and click here. And then all you need to do is type in Dawncraft like so. You can click on it. And it does say this is an unstable release, but I'm going to press understood and go and continue. And I'll go and create a new world. I'm pretty sure it is sort of recommended to do this to avoid compatibility issues. So we'll click that there and then click on restart now. And it's now going to go and start installing. If you want to go and sort of follow along with the progress, come over to the left and go and click on console. And then it's going to go and sort of, you can see what's happening basically. Um, so just go and wait for this to install. After it's finished installing, it'll then go and say online. And one thing I like to do is just go and make myself server admin. To do that, you can just type in OP and then your Minecraft username. Mine's Guide Realm, so I'll go and send that. And I've now made myself a server operator. You can now press back in the top left. And also, as you can see, my server is running pretty consistently at eight gigabytes of RAM roughly. So yeah, that just shows you do want to get plenty of RAM when using Dawncraft. Now to go and join the server, you need to come down here to IP address and port or your subdomain. And this is how we can go and connect to the server. So let's go and launch Minecraft now, and then I'll show you how we can go and join it. It's now gone and loaded, and we can go and click on multiplayer, and then go to the bottom right and click on add server. Now what we can do is come out of Minecraft and come to Apex, and as I said, you can use your subdomain or your IP address and port, and you can go and click on the copy button over to the right. Now if we come back to Dawncraft, you can then go and paste it in here by clicking in server address and pressing control and V, and we pasted it. Press done and just like so we've now added it. We can click on it and click on join server and we're now joining. And then what you can do is go and send your IP address and port or subdomain to your friends and you can go and start playing together. So you can go and choose a character here, I'll go and choose this one here. And the best thing apart Apex is, is that the server is going to remain online because if you are playing, for example, from your computer and you are hosting the server, when you shut down your computer, the server would stop but with Apex is gonna go and remain online. Also, Apex has got so many awesome features. If we come over to the left, you can go and check them all out on the left here. You can go into your console as you were earlier, player history, backups, commands, loads of different things which are gonna help with running your server. 